from Anaheim, California, it's theCUBE, covering Nutanix.next 2019. Brought to you by Nutanix. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Nutanix.next here in Anaheim, California. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, John Furrier. We have two guests for this segment. We have Ken Ringdahl, he is the Vice President, Global Alliance Architecture at Veeam. Thanks so much for coming on, you're a CUBE alum, returning to theCUBE. Yes, great to be here again. And we have Mark Neimeyer, he is the Director of Product Management for Data Protection Nutanix. Thank you for coming on theCUBE. How are you? So we're, one of the big thing, one of the big announcements today is Nutanix Mine. Uh, I want to talk. I'm going to ask you, Ken, what brings Nutanix and Veeam together to to create Nutanix Mine? Yeah, sure. We're you know we're super excited. You know we've been partners for many years. Uh, we actually brought a product to market together last year called Veeam Availability for Nutanix, which added uh, support for primary workloads. But we hadn't been working together on the secondary side, right, where we land our backups. And it became very clear, you know, from our customers that, hey, we're, you know, we, we really want to provide that seamless experience, a turnkey experience for our customers. So we started talking together, and, and really this is over a year in the making, right? We came together and we started brainstorming, and, and it became very clear, you know, a lot of synergies between the, com the companies and, and what we could deliver to our customers. So it became obvious, hey, let's, let's bring this together. It was more about the high, not, the, not, not when or, you know, it was, it, was, it was how. How do we do it? And what were the problems you were trying to solve here? What were the issues that you were hearing from customers? So, when we talk to customers, a lot of the um, complaints that, that our customers are, are, are voicing is around the complexity in, in their backup infrastructure, right? Nutanix is known for providing simplicity for the primary infrastructure, right? Reducing complexity that you typically have in your free tier architecture. Nutanix Mine will provide the same um, amount of simplicity for your, for your backup infrastructure. A hyper-converged solution that includes the Veeam software to provide data protection services for any workload running in your data center. Integration's a big part of the modernized and hybrid on cloud with you know, on-premises private cloud, as you guys know. Integrating it is not always that easy. Mm -hmm. This is pretty important. You guys have been very successful with your partnering, uh, your product has been successful, the revenues obviously show that. As the cloud comes into the picture, a lot of people have been tweaking the game, their game a little bit on the product side because of the unique differences with cloud. So with multi-cloud, private cloud, and hybrid, what changes? Mm -hmm. what, what's changing in the customer uh, mind right now? Because they got their on-premises thing pretty solid, but operationally it feels like cloud, but how does it affect the DR piece? Because this is going to be one of the big conversations. Yeah, no, no question. I mean, when we when we talk to our customers on, on how they're protecting their data, you know, we hear from a lot of customers is, hey, you know, we want to leverage the cloud for for a number of things, and and I think the cloud has gone through an evolution, right? You know, it, it, just like anything, there's you know the 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 great the great hey it can do all these things, and then people come back to reality, and and what we see a lot of our customers doing is is using the cloud for long-term data retention, using it as a secondary DR site. You know, you, you go back five years. You know, customers, especially large customers, all have two physical data centers. So now what we're seeing, a lot of our customers, they have that one physical primary data center, but they're leveraging the cloud as their, as their DR site, right? So they're, they're moving their data there with our recovery capabilities. You know, you can actually get a, a cloud workload recovered for, in a disaster scenario quite rapidly, and that's, that's been a major change over the, especially over the last couple of years. And then if you really look at integration, right, the, the Nutanix Mind solution, the platform, provides integration in six different areas. Integration in sizing, making it very easy to size for, um, we've identified some form factors, we're building it into Nutanix Sizer. Um, very easy to, uh, to um, buy. Single SKU that basically provides the hardware, hardware support, software for, from, from Nutanix and software from Veeam. Easy to deploy, right? A very automated installer that turns a Nutanix appliance into a, uh, into a mine appliance in a matter of minutes. And then easy to manage um, integrated dashboards, easy to scale, right? Horizontally scaling out for capacity, but also for increased uh, performance, and then integrated support, where we have a joint support model between the two companies to really help our customers in case there are issues. 
So why why did you choose each other? What was the courtship like, and and how how did how did the relationship evolve? Yeah. So if, if you look at Veeam and Nutanix, we really focus on quality and providing simplicity for our customers. That is, that is something that really is it was very apparent from the beginning that we have the same viewpoints and this, the, the the same mantras basically around simplicity, um, providing quality. Both of our, our MPS scores are definitely the highest in the industry. Something that is that is pre pretty unheard of. So it was a very natural, uh, I think, um, this company's coming together and providing value together. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're, we're maniacal about customer success and customer support and customer satisfaction. That was, that was very clear early on. You know, Veeam, as a, as a pure software company, you know, we, we need a partner in order to deliver a full stack solution. Nutanix is, there's just a lot of synergies. The yep. culture of the companies, the, the size of the companies, the age of the companies, it just, it's, it's just a great partnership and a great fit where, yeah. you know, there's just, we're, we're both moving in the same direction in, in concert. Yeah. Both hard charging cultures too, you know, entrepreneurial, high quality, focus on the customer, but hard charging, you guys move fast. So while I got the two experts here on um, data protection, I got to ask you my, about my favorite topic, <laughs> ransomware. Because people are finding, get rid of that tape, I got to get stuff back faster on recoveries, but ransomware really highlights the data protection scenario because they target like IT departments that may be understaffed or might be vulnerable or just don't fix their problem, they go back to the well every time, and <laughs> everything they want to make some cash, they yeah. go back. This is where software can solve a lot of the problem. What's your, what's your guys' view of the whole ransomware thing? Because this becomes huge. Yeah, no, no question. I mean, we, we, we hear this from a lot of our customers, and of course, we can't talk about it when we have customers come to us, but you know, we've had yeah. many customers come to us, and, and unfortunately, it's after the fact. Hey, I, you know, I had a ransomware attack, and you know, I lost all this, but now I, you know, I can't let it happen again. But it's really, from a backup strategy perspective, it's still important to keep air gap. You know, these ransomware, these folks that are building these, these ransomware attacks, they're very intelligent. They've gotten extremely intelligent in how they, they move from one system to another and they even hide out. So you, you, you eliminate a ransomware attack and that thing can come right back. You restore a backup that was a month old that has that sitting and waiting. So, you know, having a solution that can actually test your backups before you put them in production, yeah. have an air gap, you know, have immutability on, on some of your backup data. Those, these are all things we talk to our customers about. Yeah, your, about. your point about the, um, I bring this up because I was just talking to a customer about this. They fixed the ransomware paid, but didn't fix the problem. Yeah. So, it's like, end of the month, they need some cash, so, right, well, not the end of the month, but you know what I'm saying, they yeah. shake them down again. Yes. The well's there, they keep on coming back. So there's like community of uh, data protection community professionals getting together to, yep. solve, to kind of get ahead of this problem. And, and, and then the other aspect of basically being able to re recover quickly is performance, right? The Nutanix platform provides the performance, the throughput, so you can very quickly restore your, your workloads as well. Yeah, that would that, be a great problem to simplify. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> so what are the next steps for this alliance? Where, where do we go from here? Yeah, so from, from basically we've, we've just finished a round of beta testing, right? Um, we are going to be maniacally focused on the first 100 customers. Really understanding how they are going to put mine in, in their data centers, how they are going to use it as, um, in their data center to protect their, 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 their workloads and their applications. Um, from there on, we have a lot of plans, very interesting plans around roadmap where we can build even tighter integration from a management perspective, but also from a data fabric perspective. Whether that's on-prem or whether that's that um, goes into the Zai Cloud, the Nutanix Zai Cloud. There's a lot of interesting areas that Brain and I have been brainstorming on, um, whiteboarding and so on, that, that you'll see coming out in the next few versions of the products. What's the big customer request? What's the big um, feature request? What's the big ask from customers? For you guys together. At the end of the day, you know, our customers are really asking for simplicity. Yep. They, they, want, they want to simplify their environment. I mean, IT is moving from specialists to generalists, and they, and they want a system that works well together, that's going to lower their cost, and they want peace of mind. So they want, they want to know their backups are protected, they want to know they can restore, and that's really what we're focused on, is, is providing that to our customers. And reliable, and making sure that it works. 100%. 100%. Any new things emerging out of the multi-cloud thing that you guys see coming down around the corner? that you're getting ready for to help customers simplify? Any, any uh, signals from this multi-cloud equation? Yeah. 
So one of the things I look at is really the lines between on-prem and, and primary and secondary and tertiary, they're really blurring, right? Also the lines between the on-prem and, 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 and the cloud are, are blurring as well, right? Nutanix can replicate data and replicate backups really, really efficiently to wherever it needs to be. So I really see that as a, as a core strength to enable value that, that, that plays into the multi-cloud so environment. So true operational model across whatever yes. environment yes. and still do the tiering and things you need to do. Correct, yep. Yeah, no, no doubt, flexibility and, and being able to support you know, multiple environments, you know, that, that's, that's, that's absolutely what we're after. It's, it's what, we, what we leverage as part of the Nutanix ecosystem is, is that breadth of coverage, but, but also giving customers choice. I was just talking to Rebecca, which we love data protection, at least I do. <laughs> Go to Dell, all the WMC world, you guys be on next week. This is a huge conversation. That used to be a bolt-on conversation in the old days of IT, now, data protection, backup and recovery, disaster planning, all part of a operating model holistic picture. Yeah, how is that, we are 100% there yet on all customers, or are they still, or is the stuff still kind of like not, not forgetting to design in? Yeah, I, I mean, protection. you know, we're, you know, lots of our customers are coming to us because they're struggling with legacy solutions and they're looking to modernize their whole infrastructure, right? They're modernizing where they land the backups, they're modernizing the platform that, that lands those backups on the infrastructure. And so, you know, that's, that, it's a major problem for our customers and, and really, you know, you, you mentioned, you know, availability and, you know, you, you go back five years, maybe five, seven, eight years, you know, availability was measured in three nines, four nines, five nines. Yeah. Availability, you know, everyone in, in the world of, of, of everything cloud and everything SaaS, you know, availability is 100% or nothing. You know, it's, there, there is no, there, there, there really is no sort of anything but 100% availability. And, and, that's, sec and security highlights all the, the problems. Yes. I mean, I was talking to another customer about this ransomware, another ransomware customer. They were doing all their backups on tape. I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Of course they're a target for ransomware. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go down the directory. Who's still using tape? Because yeah. they can't turn around fast enough. That was a big problem. Yeah, you know, it's funny, you know, you, you know we're, we're focused on innovation and, and, and next things, but when you, you know, you, you then have the, some of those customer conversations, and some of them are still, you know, because of their compliance and processes yeah. and procedures, they're still, you know, five years behind maybe where we are, and, we, you know, you got you to gotta sort of bring them along for the journey mm -hmm. too, knowing that they're going yeah. to trail behind, but for the, for the early adopters and the innovators, yeah. we, we also have to serve them as well. And they got to they, they they level up themselves too, it's on them too, they have yeah. to, they have to level up. So speaking of innovation, you are two different companies. You already talked about the synergies and the similarities in culture, but you are two companies coming together to build a product. How does that work? I mean, do you, do you, do you get in the same room? Do you watch the same movies? Do you, how, how do you so, get one brain working on this? Veeam, Veeam is a distributed company. We are a distributed company, so it's, 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 it's a lot of calls and so on, um, but it's, it's really fun to really see it, see it come together and be, becoming real, right? Uh, yes, there's a lot of hard engineering problems that we have to solve and some very deep discussions around layout and, and things like that, but then bubbling it up and working on the joint value prop and working on the joint marketing, it, it, it really is a, is a very nice wide set of, 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 of capabilities and skills that we've been working on. Yeah, and, and, and what I would add, I mean, it, it is hard. It is hard to bring two, two things yeah. together and, and work on them jointly, and we've you know, so far been fairly successful, but what I would tell you is it, it brings some some advantages to us as well because we have a best of breed platform, we have a best of breed data protection platform. You know, bringing those together brings some advantages that maybe someone that does all that together on their own don't have because it's not a focus area for them, right? So, you know, it, it's our job to, to make sure we take advantage of that and provide some additional things for our customers that maybe they won't get out of some of those other platforms. Well, Mark and Ken, thank you both so much for coming on theCUBE. It was a pleasure having you. Great, Thanks. thank you very much. Thanks for having us. I'm Rebecca Knight for John Furrier. We will have, a, we'll have more from Nutanix.next coming up just a little bit. Stay with us. Stop.